Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, I want to talk about how there is some intrigue on a potential trade for Buccaneers cornerback Carlton Davis. Now, this is a couple of days old, but the word around the NFL Combine was there was some intrigue, some interest. Uh, some teams have Carlton Davis on their potential trade radar, which I think is a pretty interesting thing to see now Carlton Davis is obviously still in a big contract that he signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers not too long ago but he is on the last year of that deal he has a cap hit of 20.3 million dollars it would be a dead cap of 14 million dollars so I believe the Bucks would save six million dollars something along those lines in terms of Moving on from Carlton Davis, if they wanted to remember, he had signed a three year, forty four point five million dollar deal back in twenty twenty two. So um, there has been some speculation. There has been some talk that, hey, if the Buccaneers do want to free up a little bit more cap space, they could move on from Carlton Davis. And Carlton, da Carlton Davis is still a very good cornerback. It does make sense as to why some teams would be interested in Davis. He is still only going to be 27 years old by the start of the upcoming season. Six foot one, 206 pounds, still an incredibly quality starting cornerback in this league, in my opinion. You take a look. The biggest thing for Davis has been his overall health, though. He's never played a full season of games in his career. That is just a fact. The most games he has played in his career, or in a season, I should say, is 14. Uh, you know, you, you take a look, especially at the past three years, 10 games played, 10 games started in 2021. 13 games played, 13 games started in 2022. 12 games started, 12 games played in 2023. Injuries have been a very significant issue for Carlton Davis basically his entire career it isn't to say that Carlton Davis is bad but availability is the best ability as they say I know it's the old line but you know will the Buccaneers ultimately trade Carlton Davis I, I don't know we will have to wait and see but you do see that as a concern him being his in his last year of his deal him being obviously Injury concern. Now, you can say a very similar thing for Jamel Dean, right? And we haven't heard anything about Jamel Dean being a potential guy. Literally, same build, six foot one, 206 pounds, 27 years old, will be 27 years old by the start of the upcoming season. And Jamel Dean's another guy who has struggled with injuries mightily. You know, 13 games played and started in 2023, 15 games played and started in 2022. I would say. You know, maybe both guys could possibly be on the table, but let me let me take a look at Jamel Dean's contract, um, because I definitely want to take a look at that as well. Because we're only hearing talk and chatter around Carlton Davis. Maybe it is because he's on the last year of his deal. Jamel Dean has two years left on his deal, where he is making, and there is also a potential out in that uh, contract after this upcoming season. So maybe we'll start to hear more chatter about that after this upcoming season but I think a big thing of, as to why you're hearing chatter regarding Davis and not Dean is because Dean does have two years left on his deal where Davis only has the one and it's this upcoming season so I will say it's not I would say super likely but there is going to be speculation about it just keep some tabs on this one regarding Carlton Davis and his availability for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't think ultimately a trade is going to happen just because, look, folks, at the end of the day, the Buccaneers are still in a win-now mode. Carlton Davis is still a good cornerback. Yes, you have Zion McCollum. Yes, you could get somebody else in free agency. Yes, you could draft somebody, but you invested in Carlton Davis for a reason. I think they just let this situation play out, let his contract play out, and then maybe look to re-sign him, or maybe just look to let him hit the free agent market in 2025. But we'll see. You know, we'll see. You never know what can happen at the end of the day. There has been some shatter, some discussions, which I thought was interesting. I wanted to talk about it in a video. But, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. I would love to hear it. What do you think about the potential trade possibility for a guy like Carlton Davis? What do you think the Buccaneers could get in a possible trade? Me, I don't know, maybe a third round pick, maybe a fourth round pick is something you can get for Carlton Davis. That might be uh, maybe a bit too generous considering the injury stuff and the fact that you're probably going to have to bring him in on a new contract if you do trade for him or, or sign him to some type of an extension. But 
I do think he is a, a good player and a valuable player at that as well. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.